Now on to the charrette scheduling exercise itself. I'm going to show you two options for charrette schedules. This first option is the one we've been working with, the seven day charrette schedule or what we call the Cadillac version of the charrette. This is for very complicated projects that are very political and are very complex in its design nature. In this project format, as you see at the bottom, the charrette begins with the input session from the community and then the design begins, working through alternative concepts, through preferred plan to final plan and production. In this format, there's four to six weeks after the charrette with a review and revise session that we'll talk about, followed by a return to the public with one or two days of meetings. Now this is for very complex projects. Another way to go about charrette scheduling is the following. For moderately or easy projects, you can possibly basically take the first part of the seven day charrette schedule that we just talked about and move it earlier, maybe four to six weeks before the actual charrette. On the left hand column here you see one day of stakeholder meetings and public meetings with the public kickoff meeting that evening. At the end of that public kickoff meeting on day one the message to the community is we'll be back in a month or so in the meantime, we're going to create alternative designs based on what we heard tonight, and we're going to come into the charrette with alternative designs to present. So you're basically uh, fast-tracking the charrette by starting with alternative concepts. So in this five-day charrette, you can get by with five days because you get to the alternative, the preferred plan, in the middle of day two and it, it basically fast tracks the project as compared to the seven day charrette. The same kind of follow up occurs afterwards with review, review and revise and final review. So basically, you know, depending on the complexity of the project, you can divide up your three feedback loops accordingly. This diagram shows on the left hand side the level of project complexity. So from your complexity analysis and in particular from the budget, the time, the design and politics, the more complex the more days you need continuously. That's NCI's position. That particularly with political and design complexity it's best to stay with the project in place and complete those three feedback loops in place without going away. By going away, you risk political uh, uh, problems uh, in the continuous seven-day process or even further down into the five-day process. You're there to be able to take care of the unexpected political situations. You're there to be able to develop the plan to a, a refined degree. The le easier projects down at the bottom, let's just say it's just the design of a park, let's just say that the political will is very strong to make it happen, then you can probably get away with uh, more of a three-day process. I'm not even sure we would call that a charrette. Uh, we would call probably a workshop. But nonetheless, the three feedback loops find their way into every one of these processes. Now it's time to create your charrette schedule for the case study. Here we see again the seven day prototypical charrette schedule with the meetings in color. Here we see a charrette schedule created by a team in an NCI course. It's made up of post-it notes of different colors. Uh, this particular schedule uh, the team created a five-day charrette preceded by a one-day. On the left there you see that Thursday. That Thursday was at least a week before the five-day charrette itself and proceeded by another one day on Thursday after the charrette. You'll see here also uh, the budgeting that takes place on the bottom showing the number of team members that are present, uh, the people who are being paid. Uh, at each day of the charrette and an estimated budget for their labor. 
you're going to create post-it notes to become pieces of your schedule. So the first thing that we instruct is for you to take small yellow post-it notes and make one for each public meeting in the charrette. The next is to take a small blue or other colored post-it note to indicate team meetings and stakeholder meetings. So we're going to refer to the stakeholder analysis to find your stakeholder meetings for your charrette. Here you see, remember the stakeholder analysis that you did early in the course. You're going to look in the final column here that says charrette preparation and wherever you've indicated separate meetings, you need to make a small blue post-it for each one of those separate meetings and name the meeting. Next, you're going to create larger green colored post-its or some other color that you have to indicate each phase of the charrette process. The vision phase, alternative concept phase, preferred plan phase, plan development phase, and production phase. Here we have them. These are the five phases of the charrette process. So back to the seven day charrette schedule. Here you see those five phases in colors behind the cells. Each phase changes with some type of public meeting or stakeholder review. So you see at the beginning of day two, you're moving into alternative concepts. The beginning of day four, you're moving into preferred plan synthesis. In the mid day of five, you're moving into plan development and midday day six, you're moving into production. Here's an example of how the meetings spread out in a charrette. You're going to take your post-it notes and start to place them on the various days when you want to have your public meetings and your stakeholder meetings. Here again is the example from one of our trainings. This team decided they would have a five-day charrette, which is in the middle of the schedule here, starting on a Thursday, ending on a Monday. The charrette was preceded by a one-day set of meetings and public meeting, maybe a month ahead of time, and proceeded by another public meeting to wrap up the process maybe a month or so later. So this team used different colored post-its as the post-its they had uh, at their disposal. Uh, you can look through and see how they paced their work. You need to create your own schedule according to your uh, case study. Now down on the bottom, notice the budgeting. The bottom you see team members, the uh, second to the last row. This is the estimated number of people that will be at this particular charrette paid for a day of work. So here you see uh, one day they have three people there, another day they have five people. Now these are not staff, this is not volunteers, these are people who are paid, paid consultants. The bottom number is the estimated amount of money that you would pay uh, for the labor plus travel to get there and lodging. We gave this team the number of $1,600 per person per day for time, uh, travel, and lodging. Uh, this whole thing ended up being about $75,200. Now remember, you have to get your own budget numbers. $1,600 a person a day may work in one region, may not work in another region. The main thing is to try and estimate how much you're going to have to pay people to be at the charrette. And then total up to a total estimated budget number.